Here is the difference before and after applying these tweaks, which I will show you today. In today's video, I'll show you the best tweaks, optimizations, and settings to eliminate CPU bottlenecks, unlock maximum performance, and get smoother gameplay. Whether you're on Intel or AMD, these fixes will help balance your system and boost FPS instantly. Hit the like button and make sure to subscribe. Let's dive in. Frustrated with lag and hyping while you play games? So guys, you need Gear Up Booster. This is the ultimate tool to lower your ping, boost stability, and give you zero lag. Pro players like Asian Jeff and Polarized use it to stay ahead. So why not you? Download Gear Up Booster now from the link in the description and dominate every match. In the first step, we're going to set up a performance tracking tool to optimize CPU usage during gaming. Start by searching for performance in Windows Search and selecting the performance monitor option from the results. Once the monitor opens, navigate to the left sidebar and expand the data collector sets section by double clicking it. Next, click on user defined, then right click in this section and choose new, followed by data collector set. A window will pop up asking for a name, type CPU boost in the field. After that, select create manually and click next to continue. On the next screen, you'll see various options. Make sure to check the box for performance counter, then hit next. Now it's time to add a counter. Click the add button and a new window will open, displaying multiple categories. Select processor from the list and below that you'll see available instances. Choose the highest number listed for your system. For example, if seven is the highest number shown, select it. After making your selection, click next, then finish to complete this step. At this point, you should see CPU boost added to the list, but it will be marked as stopped. To activate it, right click on CPU boost and select start. Once it starts running, you can close the window and the performance tracker will continue to operate in the background. The first step involves making two key windows registry changes to boost CPU performance. Start by searching for registry editor in windows and running it as an administrator. Once it's open, paste the registry path provided in the description into the editor and press enter. This will allow you to disable CPU core parking, ensuring that your CPU operates at its full potential. Next, locate the max value in the registry editor. Click on it, select modify, and set the value data to 100% to fully utilize your CPU's performance. Set the base to hexadecimal and click OK. Then find the minimum value, modify it, and set it to zero. Again, set the base to hexadecimal and click OK. For additional optimization, we'll prioritize foreground applications. Copy the next registry path from the description, paste it into the registry editor, and press enter. This will bring up the required window. Now locate Win32 Priority Separation, right-click it, and select Modify. In the Value Data field, set it to 26, change the base to hexadecimal, and click OK. Finally, save the changes to your PC. These optimizations will enhance your system's overall performance, especially during intensive gaming sessions. Now guys, let's remove the transparency effect from elements like Windows and the taskbar to further enhance system performance. Head over to the search bar and type Show Animations in Windows. Many people don't realize that both Windows 10 and 11 offer a feature that lets you customize animations across the system. When enabled, these animations create smooth and stylish transitions when switching between windows. However, they also consume a significant amount of system resources. To boost your PC's performance, it's best to turn this feature off. Once disabled, the animations will be completely removed. Additionally, there's another setting called Show Transparency in Windows that you should turn off. Make sure to disable both of these settings to ensure your PC runs faster and more smoothly. All right, guys, the next step is to download the CPU optimization pack. You can find the download link on my website. Check the description for details. To support the channel and website, there are some ads on the site. Just skip them and make sure to download the actual RAR file. If you prefer, you can also download it directly from our Discord server. Once downloaded, extract the file onto your desktop and open the CPU bottleneck fix folder. Inside, you'll find multiple files that need to be installed. Go ahead and install each file one by one to ensure your system gets the necessary optimizations. Next, navigate to the CPU priority folder. You'll see two subfolders, one for Intel CPUs and another for AMD CPUs. Select the folder that matches your processor type. If you have an Intel CPU, open the Intel folder and install the file inside. 
For AMD users, open the AMD folder and install the corresponding file. Now go to the Tools folder and install the Quick Boost application on your PC. This essential tool provides instant CPU performance enhancements by tweaking hidden system settings. Once you launch the tool, you'll see several tabs. General, Advanced, Cleanup, Downloads, and Windows. Let's begin with the General tab, where you'll find key tweaks that should be applied, especially after updating Windows. Some of the most useful options here include enabling exclusive full-screen mode to improve gaming performance by preventing Windows from interfering with your game. Also, disable the Xbox Game Bar, which runs in the background and consumes CPU resources, and turn off Startup Telemetry to stop unnecessary data collection. Additionally, disabling mouse acceleration ensures smoother, more precise cursor movements, especially helpful for gaming. Another crucial tweak here is turning off power saving mode to let your CPU run at full capacity. You can also disable unnecessary system services that run in the background, taking up valuable CPU resources. Lastly, this tool makes it easy to remove pre-installed bloatware and unwanted games that come with Windows, freeing up storage and improving system efficiency. Now move to the Advanced tab, where you'll find deeper level optimizations to further enhance performance. One of the most important settings here is disabling power throttling, which removes a hidden power saving mode that can slow down your system during high performance tasks. Additionally, memory tweaks in this tab ensure that your RAM runs at optimal speed improving the performance of games and applications. Another useful setting is adjusting the hardware data queue size, which enhances the responsiveness of your mouse and keyboard, particularly beneficial for gamers who rely on quick, precise inputs during gameplay. Next, go to the Storage tab, which contains various cleanup options to improve system efficiency. Here you can clean temporary files, clear log files, run Windows disk cleanup, and remove other junk files that have built up over time. These simple actions help free up disk space and improve system responsiveness, ensuring that your PC operates at its best. Moving on to the Windows tab, you'll find additional customization settings to optimize your experience. Here you can show hidden folders to make it easier to access temporary files when needed. You can also disable notifications to reduce unnecessary distractions while gaming or working. Turning off clipboard history ensures that no unnecessary data is stored in your system, freeing up more memory. Another useful setting here is disabling transparency effects in Windows. While this slightly reduces visual appeal, it significantly boosts performance, especially on lower-end systems, by reducing the strain on your GPU and CPU. Once you've applied all these optimizations, it's essential to restart your PC to finalize the changes. After the restart, your system will be fully optimized, providing a noticeable improvement in CPU performance and overall responsiveness. Finally, install Park Control, then open the program. Once open, select the Bitsum Highest Performance Profile and ensure both Parking AC and Parking DC are set to 100 and disabled. Enable the Dynamic Boost feature, which keeps all CPU threads active during gaming, maximizing performance. You can also choose to enable Show Power Plan Change notifications, but it's not necessary. Next, go to Power Options and select Bitsum Highest Performance to fully optimize your CPU for maximum power. Click Make Active, then hit Apply to finalize the settings. Check that the green bars in the app are fully lit up, showing that your CPU is running at its peak. If you're not actively gaming, some bars may not be green, but that's perfectly fine. Lastly, click OK to save your settings. The app will now start automatically with your PC to keep your system optimized. If it doesn't, you can always open it manually when needed. In the next step, we will disable unnecessary permissions and features. Disabling unnecessary permissions and features helps reduce background processes and system resource usage, which can lead to improved CPU performance. Go to the search bar on your taskbar and type privacy and security, then select it from the results to open the settings. Once you're in the privacy and security section, start by reviewing the options under Windows permissions. Carefully evaluate each setting and disable any permissions that you find unnecessary. Begin with the General tab, where you should turn off all the listed permissions, as they typically include options that allow apps to track your activity or show personalized ads. After completing this, proceed to other sections like Speech, Typing and Personalization, and Diagnostic and Feedback. In each of these, 
disable any features or options that aren't essential for your system usage, such as speech recognition or diagnostic data sharing. Next, scroll down to the App Permissions section, where you'll find a list of individual applications and their associated permissions. Review each category, such as location, camera, microphone, voice activation, contacts, and calendar. For example, if you don't use location services, turn them off entirely. Similarly, for apps you don't rely on, such as those for email, tasks, messaging, or radios, disable their permissions to prevent unnecessary background activity. By doing so, you can ensure that your system isn't allocating resources to unused features, which contributes to better performance and efficiency. In the next step, we will disable unnecessary visual effects. This step enhances system performance by turning off unneeded graphical effects, freeing up resources while maintaining essential visuals for a smoother user experience. Go to the search bar and type Advanced System. Then select the option from the results. This action will open the System Properties window. Once the window appears, navigate to the Advanced tab, where you'll find various settings related to system performance and user experience. Under the Performance section, click the Settings button. This will open the Performance Options window, which contains several visual effects settings that can impact system performance. Here, select the option labeled Adjust for Best Performance, which disables all unnecessary visual effects by default. This adjustment will optimize your system for faster performance and free up CPU and memory resources that would otherwise be used for graphical features. After selecting Adjust for Best Performance, review the list of effects and re-enable only the ones that are important for your experience or workflow. For example, you may want to check Animate windows when minimizing and maximizing to keep window transitions looking smooth. Show thumbnails instead of icons to make it easier to preview images and documents in File Explorer. Smooth edges of screen fonts to ensure text remains clear and easy to read. Then, go to the Advanced tab and under the Virtual Memory section, click on the Change button. Here, you'll see an option labeled Automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Deselect this option to manually adjust the settings. Now, select your local disk C colon, as this is where the virtual memory will be allocated. In the custom size fields, set the initial size to 1361 megabytes, as this value is optimized for performance. For the maximum size, you need to calculate the appropriate value based on your total RAM size. Open the calculator on your computer and multiply your total RAM in gigabytes by 1024 to convert it into megabytes. For example, if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, multiply 16 by 1024, which gives 16,384 megabytes. Now, divide this number by 2, which results in 8,192 megabytes. Enter this value in the maximum size field. Once you've entered the values, click on the set button to confirm the changes, then hit OK to apply them. In the next step, guys, we will tackle your CPU bottleneck by optimizing Windows startup to reduce unnecessary background processes, free up CPU resources, and improve overall performance during gaming. First, go to the Start menu, search for MS Config, and open it. Inside, one tweak you can try is navigating to the Boot tab, clicking on Advanced Options, unlocking the number of processors, and setting it to the maximum number. However, keep in mind that this setting doesn't directly improve CPU performance. It's just a test option for power users. While it won't boost your FPS, it doesn't hurt to enable it. Simply click OK. Now, to actually help with CPU bottleneck, head over to the Services tab. Check Hide All Microsoft Services, then go through the list and uncheck any services that are unnecessary during startup. For example, I've unchecked all unnecessary services. Once you've made your selections, click Apply. Next, go to the Startup tab, open Task Manager, and repeat the process. Right-click on any program that you don't want to run at startup and select Disable. Once finished, close Task Manager, click OK, and exit without restarting. All right, guys, that wraps up this optimization guide. If you followed all the steps, you should see a noticeable improvement in your CPU performance and overall gaming experience. Let me know in the comments if this helped you out or if you have any questions. I'm always here to help.